Um, as far as like where we're going to be, um, hopefully our ultimate goal is to end up at the uh, conference tournament at the end of the season. You know, that's uh, the goal of any team that we're you know in the A10. So um, <clears throat> it's been a while since we've been back there. So that's definitely a goal for us this year. Um, our lineup. We have a lot of new guys. Uh, we graduated a lot of quality seniors. A lot of our infield graduated last year with some good guys. So uh, Coach Selbrick did a nice job bringing in some quality players that can really play. So um, I'm just excited to see how those guys play and how they're progressing throughout the season. And uh, we're just excited to get that started today, even though it's like negative three degrees outside. It's kind of weird to be starting base right now, but we're really excited to get started and get the season underway. Yeah, this will be my fourth year you know, playing under Coach Subrick. Um, I have nothing but you know, good things to say about Coach. Uh, it's a lot of funny stories. Um, he's, he's a great guy to be around. He really just The greatest thing about Coach is he really gets you excited to play the game, which is important as a head coach. Um, you know, Every day you go in and you see him, he's always in a good mood, always getting ready to get after it. And as a player, you love to see a coach that's excited about the season and is excited to get to work, and that just makes you want to work uh, just as hard. And um, as far as, like, um, you know, obviously game management, he's won over 600 games, um, so he knows what he's doing. And to have a guy that has the experience and has been through a few seasons, especially for the young guys, it's, uh, it's, it's really a nice thing to have as a head coach. Uh, as far as pitches, I throw pretty much four main pitches. Um, I have two fastballs, the four seam and the two seam fastball. Um, my four seam fastball typically anywhere from about 86 to 89 usually. Um, I've hit 90 miles an hour a couple times, but that's only only special occasion when it's nice and hot outside. So usually 86 to you know 88, 89 with a fastball. Um, I change up. I try to make that about 10 miles an hour slower than my fastball because that helps you know throw off the, the batters a little bit. So that's I try to keep that usually about 70, 76 to 78 miles an hour. And then my curveball, um, a little bit slower than my changeup, so it's probably more around, s probably about 74, 75 on the curveball. So those are my three. Those are my three to four main pitches I use. I like to go with the fastball and mainly changeup, and then uh, sprinkle in a few curveballs here and there. Uh, with college baseball, um, coaches really like for you to, you know, play summer league baseball. And for me, I had the opportunity to go play in Alaska this last summer in the ABL. <coughs> Um, that was a really, really great experience for me. Um, not only uh, the competition was really good, but also just um, just the atmosphere of being up there in Alaska, being away from all the distractions being here, it was really good for me. Um, the competition, we were playing like a lot of like SEC schools and uh, Big Ten schools, so from a competition standpoint, the lineups that I was facing were you know, pretty top-notch, and I think that's really going to benefit me coming back and you know, pitching the A-10. Um, just to face the competition day in and day out was really good. But then also, you know, just being away from being on, like, in a different, it was pretty much like a different country. You know, it was just the, just the lifestyle out there is different. And just to see how different people live and uh, how they carry themselves was, was really cool. And then also getting to meet different guys from different teams. I uh, played with a guy from Georgia who, uh, who really helped me a lot, you know, pitching wise. And then the coaching staff. Um, our coach was, he got drafted, I think, like the third, fourth round. And so just be able to, you know, hear from him how he throws pitches, um, how to set up guys. And then a lot of uh, from the mentality aspect, you know, just keeping your head right, um, keeping a level head like while you're playing. You know, if, you know, when you're playing basketball, there's going to be you're going to make mistakes. You know, you're going to go home runs and stuff like that. But just you know, staying calm and getting that next pitch and just getting that next out was really big. And so to be around guys that have been through that before and know what they're talking about, um, it was really beneficial to me. And I'm really excited to see how it uh, how it pays off in this upcoming season. Um, as far as my career is concerned, um, probably the top highlight um, was playing with my brother, Kale. Um, he, was able, he was here pitching my first two years, so being able to play with him on the same team um, was really pretty special to have him there to kind of mentor me and get me ready for, uh, for what the college base was all about. It was really cool and uh, it was something I would really cherish. Um, as far as like personal highlights, um, I remember a couple of games. Uh, my sophomore year, I threw down St. Louis. Um, I threw a complete game, like four hitter. We ended up losing the game one nothing, but that was kind of a big step for me to realize that you know I can compete at this level and be successful. And then this past year, um, we were at Fordham for our season finale. Um, again, I threw a complete game there. We won. I think we won like eight to one or something like that. So that was definitely a highlight there. And then also um, just this past year, um, just being able like I kind of did different roles. So being able to see myself that I was able to be a starter and then also be effective out of the bullpen. Um, I just did more for my confidence, just knowing that you know. You know, I made the right choice of you know, coming to the school and that you know this level is not too much for me and then I'm able to compete. So that was that was pretty cool last last season. I think a lot of people know this but baseball you're, you're really there's a lot of superstitions that go around, especially like major league baseball, you hear about like some crazy stuff. 
Um, for me personally, like back in high school, we'd do like a, a handshake before games, stuff like that. We'd have our own little routine. Um, probably the weirdest thing I've heard of um, was uh, when I got here. Um, a lot of people know Eddie Gray. He's a starting pitcher for us. He'd wear the exact same pair of teenage Ninja Turtle boxers underneath his jersey, like every time, every time that he'd throw. And those things were just—they were just ripped up, and it was—it was, it was kind of gross. But I mean, it worked for him, so. Um, that's probably the weirdest one I've, I've heard of, at least, you know, personally. But, you know, as far as me, like, while I'm here, or other guys, um, we're really conscious, like, if you have a good game or we win a game, like, we'll try to wear maybe, like, the same jersey or just do the exact same warm-up that we did before, just try to get back in that, that same, same groove that we were in the, the, uh, the game before. But just doing, like, probably just the biggest thing is just doing the same thing you did before, you know, not trying to screw anything up, so. I'm a big fan of the uh, New York Mets, so uh, the real the real New York team. That's my that's my that's my go-to team. Um, and in the words of Curtis Granderson, you know, real New Yorkers are Mets fans. So that's uh, that's kind of where I'm, I'm at right now. Um, as far as like why we became fans, um, way back <laughs> way back uh, when my dad uh, started watching games. It was the only games that were on TV. It's the only games that he saw. So he started becoming a Mets fan, and then the rest of us just kind of followed suit and. I'm so far into it now that there's no way I'd be able to get out of it. So unfortunately, they're not very good right now. But uh, you know, I'm gonna be a fan either way. So it's definitely, definitely New York Mets' favorite player is probably David Wright. I'm Captain America there at third base. So big fan of him. Big fan of Matt Harvey, who's unfortunately had the had the uh, the injury, but he'll be back. So uh, I've said this to a lot of people, but 2015 is definitely a year for the Mets. So you can mark that down. 2015, we're gonna we're gonna make the playoffs. So.